Hi everyone, Richard here with a strategy and tutorial on generating random IDs in Google Sheets using AppScript. So I'll make this uh, Google Sheet available on my blog, but I'd like to walk you through how to generate uh, random IDs using AppScript. So there is a script attached to this Google Sheet, and we'll quickly kind of walk through what's happening with the, the code and then look at it in action um, and then you can take it from there. So the first thing we'll, we'll notice is I've got a function and it's going to prompt me with a, a message, are you sure you want to generate new pins? This will overwrite all existing pins. This is merely a, a warning that if you've done this and you accidentally want to do this again, it won't overwrite all of the pins you've already assigned. So it gives you a yes-no button to sort of prevent the, uh, the script from overwriting all of the IDs that you've already created. Um, the next bit of the code will look at the active spreadsheet. So it's the one that you currently have open and look for tab sheet one, which is uh, right here. And then it's going to determine uh, the last row of data. So in our case, the easiest way to find the last row of data is figuring out what row the last row is actually at. So we are determining that with these two lines of code. And then uh, the next item is the clearing of the exi any existing pins. So if there are pins there um, in range A2 to A, um, it's actually going to just clear all of that to get it ready for new pins. And here's the formula that will generate all of the unique IDs. So you'll notice we're starting, we're, we're going to be creating three-digit pins. So the lowest number possible would be 100, and the highest number possible would be 999. Um, and the amount of pins, total pins we're going to be generating is 1,000. But based on my sheet, I don't need 1,000. So we'll use a strategy for cropping those unique pin numbers so they stop right here with Lily. Um, and that's what this variable does right here. So again, we determined what the last row is that contains data, and we're going to use that to constrain uh, the, the generation of, of pin IDs. So uh, then here's where we set the, that formula into the Google Sheet. So it'll put it in there, um, and then we're actually going to get the values from those pin numbers, and then set them directly into uh, the range A2 to A. So this means essentially removing the formula from cell A2 and just leaving the values. So, so that's essentially how the, the code will work. So I will um, now take a look at this sheet and we're gonna go ahead and just click uh, Run. And it's only gonna take a moment and it says, here's the message we talked about. Are you sure you want to generate new pins? This will overwrite all existing pins. Yes. When I click yes, there we go. We have unique IDs for all of these people. Um, and again, this range is uh, dynamic. So if I wanted to just extend this a little bit more down to, I'll just create a bunch we go 242 hit run again I'm prompted are you sure you want to generate new pins this will overwrite all existing pins so again I do have some pins there it's going to change those pins but I'm gonna click yes and now we see that we've generated uh, unique pins for this entire range of data so there you have it I will again like I said make this uh, Google Apps Script available on my blog for you to uh, play with. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.